just wanted to go over this. It is, this is called the uh, Power Aid throttle body spacer. It's kind of like a knockoff copy of the Air Raid. Like literally the Air Raid looks exactly like this. It's just maybe like a different color Raid. It says Air Raid on it, but it comes with all the same parts. Uh, there's the part number if you want to get it. Fits 07 to 13. Silverados, Tahoe, the Avalanches, Suburbans, etc., etc. I do have the 6.2, so it's good for the 6.2 all the way down to the 4.8. Comes like parts, and it's pretty well, uh, well instructed. Like I said, if you have a co air intake, you can pretty much skip parts six to to eight and just go to nine uh, when you reinstall everything. But it's all pretty well uh, instructed. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is. These are the studs that came out of the back of the, uh, out of the throttle body itself. I'm gonna save those just in case for whatever reason I take off the throttle body. Um, I'm gonna save with these extra parts that came with the kit because I, of course I didn't use them, so yeah. Okay, so I got the throttle body off. Here's the spacer. It's made to resemble the air raid one. What's gonna happen is you got the TB side, which is gonna be facing the throttle body. This is the back side of the throttle body. You're gonna put this gasket here as you can tell, it's like a little straight edge on the gasket. You line that up. You're gonna wanna line up the spacer TV side like that. Put the straight edge on that straight edge. You're gonna one wanna run the two two of the bolts with the washers on top through the back side. Start threading it into the top two. And I'll show you all after. I hand it first, just a little bit as much as I could. Then I took my 10 mil and just did it by hand with the 10 mil as much as I could. Then you want to put the two bottom ones in with the washers. Get your, uh, not your lock washers, or your lock, not your lock washers, just your regular flat washers. Then I'll show you what to do after. I use my ratchet to uh, tighten down pretty good. You don't want to tighten too much because you are messing with aluminum and billet. So it, you may strip it, uh, strip it out and I, I really didn't want to do that. So just tighten as much as I could. It's not going anywhere, but I'll tighten my cross pattern top left bottom right top right bottom left etc repeat the process now what i'm going to do is install the uh step six which is going to be the ball stud okay so what i figured out is if you have the factory intake i have a cold air intake that i installed so if you have the factory intake you're going to have a big plastic piece that comes along the top and has a piece that comes along the side uh, kind of like this it's gonna come along the side, and there's also gonna be a piece that runs along the top. That's that piece that runs along the top. So if you have the factory tape, you're gonna need this piece. What you're gonna to wanna to do is just kind of follow in the instructions, but it's basically gonna tell you, you're gonna to wanna to put this, you're gonna to wanna to put the, uh, it comes with a little Allen head. You're gonna put that and thread it into, into that ball thing. But you just basically want to follow the instruction. I don't have to do it because I have a cold air intake. But what it's basically going to do is it's going to allow you to mount up the plastic piece. And it's going to allow it to sit further outwards. Kind of like this. Because you're putting this spacer, which is pushing the throttle body back. So it's going to allow that plastic piece to sit right now and around and around. So that's what's going to keep that plastic piece intact. So what I'm going to do now, put my intake back on. Tighten down on my clamps. I'm going to recheck my four bolts hook up my throttle body again, and then uh, give it a start on the seat. Throttle body spacer is here, then you got the gasket in between the throttle body spacer and the throttle body itself. Connecting my throttle body back, got my clamps all done. I do need to replace this clamp, it's a little messed up, but it's all tight. Got my vacuum hose, or I believe it's called a vacuum hose hooked up. And we got my, I made sure and double checked that my uh, sensor was back in. Tighten all my clamps down here, and all I gotta do, Put it back on the cover. Boom, you're good to go. As you can see, when you put a cold air intake, that big plastic piece kind of makes a gap there. I believe they do make aftermarket covers, but I'm not really worried about it. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is set the phone to the side and I'll start the truck up and we'll see how it runs. You got to connect the battery back, obviously. It, in the instructions, it says to, to connect the uh, disconnect the negative terminal. So, I'm going to connect that back right quick and then I'll uh, start it. <laughs> Good, I'm gonna tighten up this clamp. 